Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to write a C program for generating legendary polynomials. So here I have a, you know, the Wolfram page uh, for the legendary polynomials and you can see that there are, they have plotted some of the first few legendary polynomials. So we'll be doing somewhat similar kind of thing in this tutorial that is we'll be writing a C program that would calculate the legendary polynomials that is it will calculate p1 of x p2 of x and all that stuff and then we will be plotting our legendary polynomials to produce a plot like this exactly so there is certain kind of information that we need to write such a program so first of all what we need is we need to find out the first few legendary polynomials so here on the wolfram page we have that information that is p0 equals 1 and p1 of x equals x so we'll be needing this information about the first two legendary polynomials then we will be using the method of recurrence relation so just go ahead and search for recurrence relation and on this page you can find that the recurrence relation is this now in order to summarize all this information i have already written a blog post on my blog and the name of my blog is braggedoff.com as you can see right here and there is a post about how to write c program for legendary polynomials so what we'll be doing is we'll be using this reference relation plus we'll be using the first two legendary polynomials now in order to write a program what i want to do is i want to write a function that would be called something like pl and what this function would do is it will take up two values that is l and x so for a given integer l that would denote like p0 p1 or p2 and so that would be l so for a given value of l and for a given value of x um, the program will return the value of the legendary polynomial for those l and x so that would be the kind of program that we'll be writing it is already available on my blog and we'll be producing this kind of a plot okay so let me just walk you through the concept okay so head over to your favorite um, C editor or whatever and then start your program with hash include stdio.h that would be your input output library file then I've also included the math library however I don't think that I needed that then what you do is you create a function called p0 of the return type double so it has a return type double and it takes up the parameter x of the return type double and what it does is it returns one so basically it didn't have to take any parameter but I just for the sake of uniformity I have made it take up this parameter now similarly you will create another function p1 that would denote the first legendary polynomial and it would again take up the parameter x of the type double and return x because that is what p1 is so p0 returns 1 p1 returns x so we have achieved this part of the program now the next part of the program would utilize the reference relation and we'll be also making use of a concept called recursive functions so we create a function called pl it takes up two parameters that is x and l x is of the type double and l is of the type integer and the function is itself of the type double so if l equals zero then you can easily return p0 of x which you have already defined similarly if l is equal to one then you can return p1 of x which is again already defined and in case l is not equal to 0 of 1 that is it is some other integer then what you do is you return the recurrence relation now the way to do that is you see this recurrence relation now you want something something like this like p of l and x so what you do is just replace l by l minus 1 in this whole relation and take these two terms on the rhs of this equal to sign so you will get something like this so pl of x would equal this thing this whole thing divided by l so coming back to my program so my program is basically doing the same thing that is it is returning twice of l minus 1 times x 
times P of PL of X comma L minus 1 so 7 has to this then minus L minus 1 P L minus 2 right here and then of X and then this whole thing is being divided by L so this is your complete part of the program that will perform the calculation of legendary polynomials now coming to the main part of the program what we are doing here is we are creating a file called legendary1.txt so in order to do that we will create a file pointer like this then we will and this is called fp so we will write this to open a text file of this name in writing mode so therefore we have w and then we initialize or declare and uh, declare a variable called x of double type and then we start a loop where x goes from minus 1 to 1 so why we are doing that because i wanted to reproduce this plot on the math world so they have x going from minus 1 to 1 basically it is the limit within which i guess legend of polynomials are defined so um, let me see okay yeah so legend of polynomials are defined for i guess x belonging to minus 1 to 1 or something like that so what we do is we start a loop where x goes from minus 1 to 1 in small steps of 0.1 and then we use fprintf to print the values to the file therefore we have the file pointer fp here and then we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 columns for x p0x p1x p2x p3x and p4x so we will be printing the 0 to 4 legendary polynomials unlike the wikipedia um, the wolfram page where they are printing from p1 to p5 we are printing from p0 to p4 so what this part of the program is pretty simple to understand that is percent lf denotes that we will be using a double so we have a double x then slash t is to create a tab space then again percent lf another double value that is p1 of um sorry p0 of x and then again slash t for a tabbed space and similarly until the end where we use slash n or backslash n to go to the next line so this is the whole program i hope i was able to you know make it clear to you i should have rather written it down but i was feeling lazy so i just decided to go through this program along with you so i hope you enjoy this walkthrough now we will go ahead and run this program so just click here or run the program okay so the program runs successfully and now if it ran successfully then what you would have is right where you had the program you would have a file called legend of one created so when you open this file you can see that all the values have been you know created nice and easily and there are no any or infinite values so just go ahead and select all these and plot them on your favorite um, graphic software for my uh, purposes i'm using origin okay so now just go ahead and select all this and right click plot line line okay okay so it is a pretty neat plot now in order to make it more readable let me just go ahead and perform some laboring real quick okay so we have this x values and we have p0 of x then we have p1 of x then we have p2 of x then we have p3 of x then we have p4 of x okay so coming back to the graph and just reload it okay so now you can see that we have this graph right here and we can compare it to the one on the wolfram page okay so we have p0 which is a straight line at one they have not plotted it now coming to p1 which is a red line going straight from the origin so we have that line right here then we have p2 which is a yellow line in the wolfram plot and in my case it is the green line both are pretty similar then we have p3 which is the green line in the wolfram plot and in my case it is the blue line and both again are looking 
similar and in fact they are pretty much same because this program is pretty much very neat and if you you know make this interval even smaller then you would not get any of these you know these edges sharp edges you will have a very smooth curve if you have a smaller interval because we are just using like what is this like 20 values so you can um, increase the quality of the plot by increasing these number of points now in case you want to go over this problem again and again then you can pause the video or repeat it and uh, on my blog post um, what i've done is i have used genu plot to produce plot and i even given the command to it now in future tutorials i'll be working on how to create this program using the series and numerical integration representations however those are not as good as the reference relation in my opinion so but still we should know how to do each uh, how to do it in each and every way so we will cover that in future tutorials for now you can just go ahead to this link i'll try to add it in the description down below and you can check out this whole program right here so you can pretty much copy paste and run it okay hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and in case you like the video then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also like the video thanks for watching and have a nice day